Greetings guys, it's Irish here. Um, I'm going to sound uh, a little bit soft because my household is sleeping right now. But I uh, thought I would let you guys know that I did get a brand new laptop. It uh, It is a HP Pavilion 15cc something. Here, uh, I'll do it. And then INXI-B. So it is a HP Pavilion 15CC1XX. Um, it's got uh, about four cores of four cores with hyperthreading. So I do get eight uh, eight cores outputting, which uh, is awesome on something like this. However, I am needing your guys's help so I finally got um, this is EFI and it's this laptop is maybe a year close to two years old this this type of laptop however I'm having sound issues now For whatever reason, well, let me play one of my videos here and show you. Uh, I need a long one. Okay. Okay, so when I play it, it goes into my headset. However, if I do the built-in and play it, there is absolutely no outputting sound. Now, I've gone into the Pulse Audio IRC channel. I've gone into the Gen 2 IRC channel. I've gone into the Ulsa IRC channel, and no one can figure this out. As you can see, there is absolutely nothing uh, muted or anything else like that. You could still see the line going through. Um, as it's playing here, but I do not understand why it's not, you know, going through. I'll show you some of the configurations. So the first thing is also mixer. So if I go into here, you see pulse audio. If I go Alt F6, I have the H. This is the headset that I'm on. Uh, everything's fine with it. This one's an HDA Intel PCH. Headphones are, I shouldn't matter if those are muted. Nothing is muted in here at all. So I do not understand why nothing is working. And then let me show you what they have me do. So if you do A play dash L, as you can see, there's the PCH HDA Intel. If I do an LS PCI dash K, audio device Intel Corp device 9D71 SND HDA Intel. It is in use. However, again, no outgoing thing. The final thing I'll show you is my kernel. It could be in my kernel. Uh, again, I am using the Gen 2's latest 4.9.76. So it could be in here for all I know. Now, it did work. So my headphones do work. I can hear uh, I can hear audio coming from the headphones, but nothing coming out of the speaker. I did do a reboot, put in the headphones, I could hear stuff, I unplugged it, and then I could hear music and audio stuff coming from the speakers. Then I did a reboot, it did not happen again. There's nothing outputting. It does work, I am dual booting with Windows 10, so Windows 10 side, it does work. My mute button on the laptop itself is 
working just fine. Uh, if you go up here, you can see it mute and unmute here. So let me show you the drivers that I have here. So sound support. I have HD audio here. Everything is built in. I did try doing the module. However, that didn't really do anything. PCI devices. Since this is a Intel, I have the two Intels just fine. US sure. USB sound. This is for my audio for my headset, so that works. Everything works because this does have an SD card reader. That works fine. This has a this has a uh, webcam, and if you see GCV view, you can see it going through just fine. So I have absolutely no clue why it's not outputting at all. Once again, as you could see, you could see it doing it. Nothing is working. Um, me configuration it's duplex I have done uh, some of this other stuff so I have absolutely no idea why this isn't working so hopefully some of you guys can help on this um, I did put in a live CD of Fedora just to test it out so I enabled the Wi-Fi went to YouTube played a YouTube video and nothing is outputting so I don't know if it's the hardware itself if I'm on an old kernel or what what else it could be but other than that other than the audio my scrolling for my input synaptic isn't working so I can't scroll up and down with the with it so I do have I do have that installed but I do not know if it is actually starting on boot up so again this is a call for help a, a little bit so I am completely stumped on what to do. The people in the IRC channel are completely stumped also. They have absolutely no idea why everything's working or why it's not outputting. So let me guys let me know if you guys know what's going on. I am completely baffled at this point because everything's 100%. Nothing's muted. Nothing. So, and uh, maybe I'll try a uh, an Ubuntu Live DVD to see if that will work. It does work. Again, this does work on my Windows side since this computer is only a few days old. I got it on like Saturday, so four or five days old. Until I completely know that everything is functioning just fine, I need to dual boot with Windows just in case I do have to return it for whatever reason. But um, getting dual booting with uh, the Gen 2 and Windows 10 on UEFI did take me a while. I did the initial install with uh, sorry, with the Gen 2 ISO, it was fine, but when I did the Grub MK config, it said that there was no UEFI input. Apparently, from the guys that in the Gen 2 IRC channel, um, 
so you have someone to look at, I guess. So, they saying that the HD, or sorry, the ISO is not UEFI compatible for whatever reason, because you cannot boot into it under UEFI. It has to be under Legacy. So if you're going to do a Gen 2 UEFI, I would get System Rescue CD, because that does work. The other issue I had was Wi-Fi. Now, my Wi-Fi is unique. Um, let's see here. As you can see, the driver is IWL Wi-Fi. I did build it into the kernel. However, it did not work at all. It did not recognize it. Um, so I had to make it as a module. I'll show you my mods here. So the IWL Wi-Fi works. My USBs work. EFI works. Just not my audio. I can listen to it in my headset or on a, like you input it with a jack. So I do not know what's going on. Again, it's really frustrating um, that I can't get this to go. I've never had any issues with audio under Linux. C granted, I was doing it on older hardware. As you could see, my uh, computer that is broken, I still have. So I've been going back and forth between the new one here and the old one. So, But if you guys have any ideas, please put them down below. I am desperate. I don't want to have to move to another distro. Because Gen 2 on a device that has 4 cores with hyper-threading, 8 gigs of RAM is like perfect. So... I do not want to move off of it if I don't have to, but I'm curious if anyone else has had this issue. So, But uh, this will probably be the last video that I do until after my test, since it is in two weeks. So I do want to make, you know, make sure I am completely confident for that. And uh, I will keep, you know, replying to any trying any suggestions you guys have because I've done everything that these guys in here have done and in Pulse Audio if you guys know about the uh, the two finger scrolling I'm doing it right now and it's not going up or down at all so if you guys know anything about that let me know also and I will see you guys